Hi, everybody. I'm Matt Trumbo. I'm in situ's product manager for software and solutions. Today, we're going to talk about setting up your telemetry devices remotely. Let's jump right in. Okay, so here we are on Hydroview's main page again. This is all the same graphs and everything that we've familiarized yourself with in the last videos that we've done. Today, we're going to talk about the telemetry section over here. So this is a list of all of the telemetry devices that are reporting to this account. Uh, we're going to search for one in particular here. This is this tube right here that you saw the graphs on in the previous page. When we go click on this settings button over here in the corner, we actually get a bunch of useful information which serial number we have, all the locations that we're looking at, the connected instruments and their serial numbers. And then also you can look at the battery readings for the last couple days and the signal strength for the last couple days, uh, and also when it last reported. So all that's very useful. Now, these tend to be very spiky graphs because environmental conditions can come in and uh, change the voltage reading on your battery. Don't worry too much about that if you see some spikes or some drops in the signal strength reading. Maybe it was raining or something like that. These, again, these have a tendency to be a little bit spiky, but it's really you're looking for big trends um, if you want to change a battery or if you're getting a lot of 0% signal strengths, that would, that would lead us to believe that maybe it's not getting through on a regular basis. That's the only times that you might want to be concerned. Um, we can also come in here and click the Change Settings button. And from here, we can make changes to the frequency that these devices are reporting and taking readings from their connected instruments on. So you can actually come in here and say, I want to take readings every 30 minutes and upload every four hours, or every four readings. And then we would get data uploaded every two hours. So this tells you very conveniently exactly how that works there. So you can make those changes. And then we also provide a couple more options where you can come in and maybe you forgot to turn on the barometric compensation when you were setting up your level readings. You can go ahead and turn that on here if you have a non-vented instrument and a non-vented telemetry device. And then if you're watching the, uh, the voltage on your instruments that are connected as their internal batteries start to die um, at five to 10 years of use, then you can see that the, the tube can provide power to those devices so that they continue to work in your environment. So you can turn that on as you watch that external voltage here. That's really all we have with this. It's a pretty basic feature, but a very convenient one for when you're trying to change settings or make some changes to uh, instruments that might have some battery life that's, that's being reduced. So check back with us next time when we talk a little bit more about Hydroview. Thanks for listening.